The chemical sedimentary rocks are composed of minerals produced by chemical reactions in the environment, not by organisms. Let's learn characteristics of these rocks by their mineral composition. When shallow lakes in the desert environment evaporate, the dissolved ions and molecules may crystallize to a number of different minerals. One of these is rock salt. Rock salt is composed of halite, the mineral you know as salt. Fragments broken from rock salt exhibit the properties of halite, three perfect cleavages at 90 degrees, a Mohs hardness of about two, and of course a salty taste. But we don't taste rocks in lab anymore, so just use the mineral properties to identify rock salt. Rock gypsum is composed of the mineral gypsum. It's commonly formed in arid regions from the evaporation of surface water or seawater. Because rock gypsum is composed of the mineral gypsum, it exhibits the mineral properties when fragmented. Two perfect cleavages, a Mohs hardness of about two. The most important and abundant rocks in the chemical group are the limestones. You might be surprised to encounter limestones again, but here they are. Calcium carbonate can indeed form by chemical reactions in seawater. We have three examples. Here's a rock with a fine grained texture. Let's test it with acid. Yep, strong, vigorous reaction. Okay, it's got to be a limestone. This rock is called micrite. That's a word made from microcrystalline, because the grain or crystal size is microscopic. So a micrite is a fine-grained, hard, microscopic limestone. Here's a sample that appears banded, and coarsely crystalline. Let's test it with acid. Okay, it reacts vigorously, at least parts of it. So we know it's also a limestone. But what type is it? The crystals aren't fossil shells, so it's not a fossiliferous limestone. It's not soft, so it's not a chalk. The rock is travertine. A travertine is a coarsely crystalline, typically banded limestone. Here's one place where travertine is formed, Mammoth Hot Springs in Yellowstone National Park. The banding forms as calcite crystallizes in layers when saturated groundwater flows over the surface. Here's the last type of chemical limestone. Note the millimeter unit scale. The particles are sand-sized, and they're exceedingly well-rounded. Let's see what they're made of. Let's try the acid test. Hmm, nice vigorous reaction. We certainly have a limestone, but what are these particles? They're called ooids, meaning little eggs. Sand-sized, egg-like particles. A rock made of ooids is named oolite, or oolitic limestone. You'll learn about the formation of oolite in your text or lecture, or you can look it up online. This sedimentary rock shows a number of interesting properties. It has visibly sized particles, about the size of sand grains. We might think at first it's just another sandstone. However, those grains are really round, almost like, like ooids. So the rock feels quite heavy, really heavy. So whatever mineral it's made of is dense. Maybe it's got a metallic mineral in it. Let's do a streak test. Nice, a reddish brown streak. That would certainly explain the higher density if the mineral is hematite. But what do we call this rock? Its sand-sized grains say sandstone, but the rounded sand-sized particles say oolite. But these ooids aren't made of CaCO3, calcium carbonate. It's not a limestone. The rock is basically a sandstone infused with iron ore minerals like hematite. This rock is an ironstone, and it's not found in many places in the world. Birmingham, Alabama is one, where there's an entire mountain of it, Red Mountain.